hey, I just had to turn the TV off. Um, it unpause itself. I don't want any music in the background because uh, copyright on YouTube might cut off my video. So yeah, like I said, there's a Dexter scan. It measures. That's quite expensive. No gyms have got that that I know of around here. Um, there is a little weighing scales which I've seen. You take your shoes and socks off. You stand on the weighing scales and it measures. It sends electricity through your body. Um, also, you can do the ones with the hands, like you might have seen in the gym where you got the heart rate monitors on the treadmill where you hold the hands. Um, the way that works is called bioelectric impedance, um, or BIA, it's actually called. That's the way I've got. I got a little electric machine. Um, you stick a sticker on your hand, stick a sticker on your foot, put a wire on it, it sends a little electric current through your body. Um, it knows. Uh, the resistance of bodies, it, it just knows, it measures. They won't go into detail how it does it. But, so what you need to do is, you need to start off with the body fat um, percentage. Um, you need to do it, really. Uh, so, because if you just got your weight, everybody's different. You might have two different people, the same height, the same weight, say 10 stone. Uh, the one person might be 10% body fat, one person's 20% body fat. And the bodies will be completely different. I know everyone's got different bodies anyway. Some have got um, different frame sizes and you might have a pear shape or an apple shape, uh, bigger arms, big legs. But let's just talk about you wanna lose fat. So first of all, you need to, lo need to know how much fat you, you got. Um, so if you're 10 stone, 10% 10 body fat, so you're nine stone of muscle, one stone of fat. Or in pounds, you're 140 pounds, so you're 14 pounds of fat. Um, there is a table of uh, acceptable body fat percentages or classes of body fat percentages. And they're different depending on where you look. So on the app I was using this morning, um, it's got essential, athlete, fitness, acceptable, and then obese. So essential is two to 5%. So you have to have at least two to five percent body fat um so there's a big difference between two and five but what that is is if you're 20 stone well then you have to have two percent because two percent of 20 stone is quite a lot and if you're 10 stone five percent of 10 stone is just enough so it depends what your weight is that's why it's two to five athletes six to 13 so it sounds like quite a lot six to 13 um, again it depends what sport you are if you're a shot putter, they're gonna have a lot of muscle. Um, a swimmer or gymnast, they're still athletes. So that's a long, a broad spectrum of different sports. So everyone's got different weight categories and different body fat percentages for different sports. So that's why it's six to 13. Fitness is 14 to 17. So it depends what you wanna look like. Um, and everyone's got different muscles and things, but if you have between 14 and 70% body fat, you should look like you go to a gym. You might have a bit of a six pack, you might have some muscles, but not too lean. There is a picture I have got somewhere of um, like six different bodies and it says 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%. So you could just look at the picture and say, I'm that one now and I wanna be like that one next. That's what I wanna be like. Um, acceptable is 18 to 25%. So if you start going above that obese, it's called 25% plus. But it all depends on the maths because percentage is a maths. It's percentage of that 10 stone or 15 stone or 20 stone is a percentage. Right, so you need to weigh yourself. Then you need to make a body fat percentage. So you can either do any of the methods I said just now. Um, if you haven't got any of these machines, or if you're doing it uh, virtually with me now, say like on email or there's a couple of, I'm not gonna tell you um, how I do it because then you'll go away, you'll do it yourself and you'll probably get it wrong. But all you need to do is tell me a few figures. I can then calculate and work it out using different apps and things. I can convert it. If you're saying, tell me your weight in pounds, stones or kilograms, um, I can, convert them into the one I need. Your height in inches or centimeters or feet, I can convert that into one I need. So 
the idea about a personal trainer is I do the work for you because it's complicated. There's different things which affect different things and I understand things that you, do, you don't understand. Um, but that's why you pay somebody or that's why you ask somebody to help you. A builder knows what building, a carpenter knows what carpenting and a mechanic fixes your car. So you ask a professional to do the stuff you can't do yourself. So there's a few figures that I can use virtually if you're female or if you're male and then I can make a rough estimate. Now it is a rough estimate, it's not gonna be accurate but like I said, the other machines cost £100,000. Um, so no machine is 100% accurate. When you jump on a different treadmill, it'll say different calories and things. So it's just a guess, but it's a guideline. It gets you started and you can use it. As long as you're using the same calculations each week, you can then use them to adjust your diet. Um, and it's a guide, so it works. So basically what I would do is I weigh myself. I take my body fat percentage. And then I'd say, I'm here now, but I want to be um, whatever percentage I want to be at. So say I was 15% fat, and I want to go down to 10% fat. Um, first of all, you've got to agree with the trainer. Is that achievable? If you're going to go from 30% to 5%, that's not really realistic. Maybe go from 30% to 20 would be more realistic. 20 to 15, 15 to 10. 10 to 8 something like that that's realistic uh, don't go do stupid jumps because you won't do it maybe in a, in a three year period you would but not in a six month period so make something like a six month or a 12 month goal say I want to be this percent you can roughly work out how long that's going to take um, and then what you can do is you can work out how many calories you need to burn and how many calories you need to eat to make them little goals. So usually, it depends how big you are to start with, but usually about a pound of body fat a week is doable. That's um, recommended. Anything more than that, it's you're gonna burn out too quick. So if you do two pounds a week one week, that's okay, because the next week might be half a pound. But on average, you're gonna be burning one pound a week. So what you can do is either eat 500 calories a day less, or burn 500 calories a day more. Don't do both, because then that's a 1,000 calories a day difference. So you either burn 250 and eat 250 less, that's 500, and then over the week, you should burn a, fat, a pound of fat off. Um, obviously, if you've got a lot of fat to burn, you could afford to lose three pounds a week or five pounds a week, whatever. But when you start getting to normal body weights, about a pound is good. You can make it even more complicated though with your goal in a 12 week period. Yeah, you're gonna lose say 12 pounds in 12 weeks, but also you might gain, especially doing weight training, you might gain half a pound of muscle a week. I'd say you're gonna gain less muscle than what you're burning fat. So you're gonna burn probably a pound a week and it depends on what, if you're a beginner or expert or whatever, but I probably go for maybe females, a quarter of a pound, males, half a pound of muscle a week. Some weeks you might put on a bit more weight than that, but I think it's probably water and fat. So in a 12 week period, you might put on six pounds of muscle, but you're gonna lose 12 pounds of fat. So actually your body weight is only gonna change by six altogether but at least you know then what it is. So when you do body fat test in 12 weeks time, you should have lost 12 pounds, but you should have gained six pounds. Um, and then you know then, yes, I know where I'm at. Don't get upset because I've only lost six pounds because you've gained the six pounds of muscle. It's good because then your BMR, your basal metabolic rate, or the amount of calories you're burning naturally every day all the time, that's gonna go up. So then the next 12 weeks, you're gonna burn fat even faster. You probably won't put on the same amount of body uh, muscle because you can't keep adding muscle all the time. Or if you just don't like the way you are, if your arms are getting a bit too big, you can gradually then decrease the amount of weight training you do. Um, and then you can play around with the figures. But it's all about playing around with figures because like I said, it's not 100% accurate of um, the body fat in the first place all you know for a fact is what body weight you are 
and measurements. You know, you can measure your bicep is 14 or 16 inches, your waist is 32 inches. That's a fact. Your body weight's a fact. Um, the lean muscle is an estimate, so your percentage of fat is an estimate. So you play around the figures, and then the personal trainer can just help you. So every week or every two weeks or four weeks or agreed time scales, you can have a little check-in, have a little chat, say, um, I've lost this much weight this week. I'm not happy because it should have been more. And then the trainer will say, yeah, but look what you've eaten. And you had a social event and you had a bad knee, um, your working pattern, whatever. And you can agree that next week then you burn one and a half pounds and that will balance out your average. You can have a graph with um, your body weight as it's going along. And then you can have a, a trend line of where it's projected. And then as long as you're roughly around that line, you can both agree that you're happy and you can change your calories and you can talk about your fat and your carbs and your salts and your water intake, your stress level, and you can play around with things. Why didn't you lose weight or why did you lose weight? Why have you put on weight? Um, and if you're happy, well then you can just motivate yourself to keep pushing on, keep pushing on, but don't go too hard because you don't want to overtrain. So it sounds quite complicated because I want to get this video as short as possible without having to edit it, but it's not really that complicated. All you gotta do is weigh yourself, work out your body fat percentage, and then make a plan. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video there because I don't wanna keep going on and on and on, but basically today's video is about making a plan, but you need to know where the start line is and where you want to be. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too complicated. Hopefully it wasn't too fast. You understand what I'm said. Put any comments or questions below. Um, that's just a quick, quick video just to say what to do. But obviously, if you're talking one-to-one, uh, -one, it'd be a lot quicker, a um, lot slower and, and better i can make it more understandable with pictures and diagrams and charts and things but once you get the body weights on the graph you you can see what i'm talking about but um i think this afternoon when i've got some free time i'll work out my diet and my training plan and things and then i'll post this um and then you can see what i do okay thanks for watching please like it subscribe and things so i know you watched it and then um i'll see you soon